Hollow is just too evil. Hi everyone, hope this week has been good for you so far. Your boy Al is here with Spice and Wolf episode 22 review so let's go. At first we see Lawrence and Hollow visit Terrio Village's church at night, where Elsa opens the door. Lawrence explains their visit, saying they don't want information on the abbey but wish to offer prayers and then leave Terrio. Elsa leads them to a prayer altar, and before praying, Lawrence reveals he has a confession to make. Surprised, Elsa listens as Lawrence admits he lied, then asks Elsa to confirm that the church they are in is actually the Diandran Abbey he's been searching for. I'm pretty damn sure Lawrence wouldn't have tricked Elsa like that if Hollow didn't come up with the plan, and this makes me really wonder how Lawrence ended up being a successful merchant. We see Lawrence ask Elsa to confirm if Franz was actually Louis, the abbot's manager, and if he had any tales about pagan gods. Elsa becomes suspicious, and when Hollow reveals her wolf ears, Elsa faints. Later, at Elsa's home, she wakes up, realizing it wasn't a dream. She compares Hollow to the devil, but Lawrence calms her down by promising they'll leave once she shares more information. Lawrence explains they seek Franz's tales because Hollow wants to return to Yuetsu. After reflecting on Franz's teachings, Elsa takes them to a hidden prayer room, revealing a concealed underground area. She retrieves some letters and allows Lawrence and Hollow to read the books there, but only within the church. Elsa's reaction to Hollow being a wolf girl was pretty normal, I mean it's 2024, and most people are still very scared of anything supernatural, not to mention, the story is based on the medieval era. Next we see Hollow go into the underground area to retrieve the books while Lawrence and Elsa talk. Elsa is relieved that Franz's stories weren't just myths and suggests that Lawrence speak with the inn owners since reading all the books may take time. Hollow returns with the books, and Lawrence pays Elsa for her help. Later, in a different room, Elsa confides in Lawrence about her concerns. She's troubled by the possibility that Terrio's god might be a false deity, as hinted by Franz's tales. Lawrence reassures her, affirming that Franz's stories are accurate. I think religion is something that if you believe it then no one can stop you from believing it, and if you don't then no one can force you to believe it, and in my opinion both of these are fine as neither of them are harmful choices, so you should decide yourself what you want to believe. Moving on we see Sem knock on Elsa's door before she can question Lawrence about his argument. Lawrence returns to the statue room and finds Hollow reading Franz's books. They talk about Elsa, their travel plans, and the books, with Hollow making Lawrence rest his arm on her shoulder. Elsa enters, notices the mood, and says they can continue their discussion later. Later, Hollow senses Evan nearby, and Lawrence suggests they keep her wolf origin secret from him, confident that Elsa won't reveal anything. After dinner with Evan, Hollow, and Elsa, Elsa tells Lawrence she'll discuss her concerns about their possibly false deity later. Evan and Elsa are a bit too naive, but it also perfectly fits their characters, and it's honestly kinda cute. Also Hollow is too evil for making things intentionally awkward for Elsa. Then we see Lawrence and Hollow return to the prayer room to continue reading Franz's books. Lawrence mentions Evan and Elsa's close connection, which annoys Hollow. He explains why he feels envious of them and wonders what Hollow will do when she reaches Yoitsu. Hollow says she doesn't know, and Lawrence suggests they drop the topic. Hollow asks him to read the books, then falls asleep on his lap. While skimming a book, Lawrence finds a tale about the moon-hunting bear that supposedly destroyed Yuitsu. He hears a man on horseback, and Hollow wakes up as Lawrence shares his discovery with her. I don't understand if Hollow truly loves Lawrence then why she is so indecisive about what to do after they find her home. I mean she doesn't even remember most of her past, so it shouldn't be that hard of a decision to make. At the end we see Lawrence give Hollow the book about the moon-hunting bear and asks her to read it and decide for herself. Hollow promises to do so. Lawrence and Elsa discuss the situation with the horseback rider, and Elsa isn't sure if it involves Enverge Town. She tells Lawrence and Hollow they can rest near the prayer room until Sem clarifies things. Sem and his group confront Lawrence, who warns them not to act rashly towards him or Hollow. 
Sim reveals that someone from Inverge died after consuming Terrio's wheat, leaving Lawrence, Hollow, and the others shocked. This part was a bit confusing, because it wasn't very clear whether Sem was looking for Lawrence or Evan. However, if someone died from eating Terrio's wheat then Sem was after Evan, because as far as it was shown, Evan is the only miller of Terrio, but I wonder how this will affect Lawrence and Hollow. Nevertheless, this was a slow episode so many people might not enjoy it. Also, by the time you guys see this episode 23 should be out. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to keep me motivated to make more videos, and you can also leave a comment if you want to say something, because it helps me fight the almighty YouTube algorithm, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.